and welcome back to Cap That Flag. Today we're doing another Pico CTF challenge. This one's called Static Ain't Always Noise and it's worth 20 points. It's from Pico CTF 2021 and it's in the general skills category. And the description reads, can you look at the data in this binary static? This bash script might help. And we've got a link to a file and a link to a bash script. So let's start by pulling down this file. And we'll also pull down the bash script. Now let's use the file command to see what static actually is. And we can see it's an ELF 64 bit binary. And now let's take a look at what's in the shell script. So the first thing that this shell script is going to do is use object dump to disassemble the file that's provided to the, sh to the shell script and it's going to output that disassembled code into the given text file. And then assuming that that is successful and that created a file, it's then going to use strings, um, the A flag for looking at the whole file and the T flag to print offsets of memory locations. It's going to output another text file that just have this, the strings info. So I need to set execute permissions on the shell script for me to be able to actually execute it. So I'll do that with chmod. And I'm also repeating that for the static binary as well. So now I'm going to run the static binary, see what it does. And it just prints out, oh hi, wait what, a flag? Yes, it's around here somewhere. So now let's try using the shell script. So we can see it's created two text files, one that should have disassembled code and the other one which should have the output of the strings command. So let's have a quick look at the disassembled code first. So it looks like this works successfully and we do have disassembled code. I don't think there's any value in going through this though, but it did work. So now let's have a look at the other text file, which is the output of the strings command. And if we scroll through this, we can see the string that was displayed when we ran the static binary. And then just underneath, we can see that there is the flag in plain text. So we definitely didn't need to use the shell script for this one. We could have just run the strings command against the binary. And in this example, I'm piping to grep to search for the string pico, which would just give us the flag straight away. And there we go. We even could have just used the cat command against the binary file. And we still could have found the flag in plain text. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.